Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Jenny Hall. Thanks for joining me for another Scrapbook Sunday tutorial. Today I'm scrapping my little lovelies when they were tiny, tiny boys and they had uh, like a little fun bathtub pictures. I have a box of photographs that I go through so that I can make projects to share and these two pictures seem to want to go together. I'm creating a border or a mat for each one of the photos from Birthday Memories Designer Series paper. I cut my paper one quarter of an inch larger for the diameter of my photographs. So if my photos are four by six, then I'm going to cut my mat to four and a half by six and a half so that there's one quarter inch all the way around. I'm explaining this because I've had questions about how I formulate matting my photographs. So I sincerely hope this helps. To give some little sweetness because this these are definitely you know, little baby pictures from my boys, I'm using Moon Baby Stamp Set. There's a cute little sentiment and it goes good together with the baby theme. But I also want to really focus on the bubbles and the fact that they're, they're having bath time. And these are just the cutest little pictures, aren't they? Playful Background Stamp Set has this open drawn bubble image that is perfect to create just a bubbly atmosphere. So I'm using two different blue inks. One is, I think, Pool Party and the other is Tempting Turquoise. And some of the generations of ink are going to be second generation to give their, you know, to where it's just not all one solid color. And I'm using several of the different sentiments from Moon Baby stamp set. Liquid glue is working well to adhere my photograph mats down to the actual Whisper White cardstock. Here are the stamp and blends that I plan to do a little bit of coloring with today. Stampin' Blends are new alcohol markers that are being released for purchase on November the 1st, 2017. They work differently from regular dye ink markers and they can be used with different mediums and on different types of paper. Today I'm showing how I can do some blending to get some very, very soft tones and I've used a regular stamp pad to give the, uh, the foundation image for these units. I'm coloring in the stars first and my first tip in working with alcohol is if you want to get a blend then be sure to make sure that you don't over dry your coloring before you try to blend it. So in other words work in small sections so that when the ink touches the paper the second one that you're going to blend in, it needs to be in contact with wet ink. So wet on wet equals a nice blend. There's also a marker in the set that is white capped and it's called a color lifter. What this does is it removes some of the color away, but in a very graduated and faded effect. So with the little images of the bunny rabbits, I first outlined part of the rabbit with a gray marker and then with the color lifter, I've gone back in and taken away only some of that, of that first gray marker. And I'm going to repeat the process with the blue marker on the little sheep. I'm coloring in the outline area and then going back with the color lifter to take away some of that color to give it a little bit more soft effect. This is a baby page after all. So here's the finished project, very easy to complete. I hope this gives you some ideas for making scrapbook pages of your own. Thanks for joining me for the Scrapbook Sunday tutorial. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching the video. See you next time.